His whole forehead looks like a tic-tac-toe board. Like, do you not see it? Because I see it. Tic-tac-toe, three in a row. Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel today and we are going to be doing the random genetics challenge in The Sims 4 because honestly, I need some random chaos in my life right now because if you haven't seen my empty apartment tour video that I recently uploaded a couple days ago, please go watch it because I recently moved and I would love for you all to see my space, what it's like, what I'm working with, and what my future plans are for each and every room. But if you haven't heard of the random genetics challenge, you are in for a treat, my friend. Like honestly, you truly are. Now, this challenge is all about randomizing your sim from head to toe, hair, eyes, mouth, cheek, the whole shebang shebang. And once you have your randomized sim and your other randomized sim, all you really gotta do is go here, play with genetics, and then you kind of, kind of put those two, mother, father, mom, mom, whatever you wanna do, put their genetics together and create your child to see what the results will be like because honestly at the end of the day it could be really good really shocking or just chaos you never really know what you're gonna get so personally kind of fun kind of sus but kind of great so i think i'm gonna start with her name doing one two three alicia one two three cobes alicia cobes I like Le Alicia. Welcome to the scene. Welcome to the, to the vibe. Welcome to the world. You are born. You are birthed. You are here. So let's start with her skin tone. One, two, three. Blue? Hello? Okay. Let's take all of her skin details off and also all of her makeup. She's blue. Is she a Smurf? She might be a Smurf. I really do not know. Skin details? Oh, Lord. We can't run into my skin details? That's scary. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Nice, you know, edges and all. It doesn't match your hair. I hope that we get black hair that it matches her like hairline and stuff. Because if it's not, we're going to be screwed. Her brow scar. One, two, three. Oh, snap. Cheek scars. One, two, three. Oh. Is this like a Halloween type random genetics challenge? Because I feel like it is. But also a part of me feels like, is this Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas? Because it feels like it. I don't know why, but it does. Okay, we got scars for days. We've seen some stuff. Let's snatch the weave. Let's gonna do her head shape. One, two, three. Oh, a little bit smaller. Her ears. One, two, three. Nice. Her eyebrows. One, two two three why are eyebrows green i hate that but it's matching the hair which is so awful luckily if we get black hair it'll switch back i'm hoping oh no i'm nervous her eyes she was like mm, mm, mm. <laughs> her mouth was going in many different directions but we love to see it great time her chin one two oh three Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Nice. We love to see the side profile. So let's see what we're working with with the hairstyle here. One, oh, two, mm, three, up. Oh. You know, hey, her hair color matches her edges, but I'm going to like click that. There it goes. A little bit more natural black. That's good for us. Very good. Can I go back and redo her eyebrows so it matches her hair? Cause I mean, it, it has to match, okay? It has to. There we go, that's better. It matches. We're fine, I'm not cheating. We're not doing any cheating here today, no, no. No cheaters here today, I don't think so. But let's randomize her hat, let's see. One, nothing. Two, oh, pirate? Halloween, three. She goes to Foxberry Institute. She's a, a lobster. Larry the lobster is her cousin. And that's all you need to know. I like the idea, but was it executed well? We don't know. Uh, let's see, glasses, one, oh, two, mm, three. <gasps> you know, she's trying to hide and mask her, 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 her eyelashes, but at least her glasses matches her hat. That's all that matters. We're fine, we're good. We're peachy fine. That's why the Smurfs don't wear any makeup. That's why Smurf Ed looks naturally the way she does. No makeup, no nothing. Smurf Ed would be screaming. For her, let's see, let's see her blush. One, two, oh, 
Three? Mm, I don't know about that. That looks a little bit horrifying. I don't understand. We're going to put her glasses back that she had on before. But I think I want to do a full body outfit and see what we can get here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. One. Oh, two. Mm, three. Oh, that looks so fancy, but it doesn't match your hat or glasses or lipstick. Mm, mm, mm. Shoes? One, two, three. You know, it just seems very fitting. She has a lot going on for herself. Alicia Combs has a lot going on for herself, which is good. But now, her formal wear. Ooh, this looks fancy. One, two, three. <gasps> Am I lucky or what? Oh, this is great athletic wear. Let's see, let's do tops and bottoms. Pick out the kits. One, two, three. I don't know if I would wear that with running the mile, but you do you. Bottom wear, let's take off the filter. One, two, three. See, I don't know what track and field you're going to, but I would not run like that in this outfit. Stop. Her shoes, one, two, three. Nothing matches of the sort of any kind. Okay, so now for our party wear, let's go and do tops and bottoms because I want to be a little bit extra and fancy. One, two, three. Oh, I was quick. Imagine if she got this. She literally has no upper like body of any kind. If she got that, that would have been an interesting outfit, um, a concept, a, a look, a style. Would it trend? We don't know, but she got this one, an orange and yellow top. We love to see it. Bottom wear, one, two, three. A lot of colors happening here. I'm not sure if I like the idea, but you know, hey, you do you. Shoes, one, two, three. Again, I don't know. The sim is interesting. She has a lot happening here. I don't understand. It's fine. Cold weather wear, I want the outfit just to stay the same, but we can't. Full body outfit always. One, two, hmm? three. You know what? This is from the brand new kit that we got a couple days ago, and it looks so good. I like this one in this color personally. I, I yeah, I like it. Mm hmm. Very, very good. Shoes, well, might as well. One, two, three. Again, she understood the assignments. Wearing appropriate clothing for the appropriate weather. But let's go and get ourselves another sim here. Let's gonna do a male sim. Eyeball ring. Hmm. I don't know if I like this sim already. He looks very sketchy. But we're gonna randomize him three times either way. One, two, three. Okay, looks way better without the eyeball ring. Very good. Now, let's go ahead and randomize his name. One, two, three. Donald, Ronald McDonald. One, two, three. Son, Donald's son. So basically, Ronald McDonald, because you can think of the McDonald sign. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. It's yellow and the sun is yellow. So he's basically Ronald McDonald. He's a whole clown. That's what he is. Makes perfect sense. You know what I forgot? I forgot to actually give Alicia her traits and her aspiration. Let's go and randomize it three times. She has bro, lazy, and proper. That is some interesting looking traits. But her aspiration, okay, family, let's do this at. Oh, super parent. That is a bro, lazy, and proper. Parent of the year award goes to them. We love to see it. Let's also randomize her likes and dislikes. So she loves the color red, which makes sense for her hat and, her, and lipstick attire. She also hates hip hop music. She loves media production, as so do I, but she also loves island decor. Now for you, Mr. Ronna McDonald, we got some work for you here today. Let's go and change up your skin tone, my friend. One, two, three. Okay, very good. Skin details, one, two, three. We love the freckles. I'm going to keep that. His teeth, one, two, three. Ronald McDonald in disguise, who's very rich and famous and has like all this money. So like, we're really showing his character today. 
It really makes a lot of sense. Brow scars, one, two, three. Okay, cheeks, one, two, three. This is turning into a Halloween episode. One, two, three. Is this tic-tac-toe? His whole forehead looks like a tic-tac-toe board. Like, do you not see it? Cause I see it. Tic-tac-toe three in a row. Let's do his mouth. One, two, three. Literally the same. And for his hair, one, two, three. Oh, lordy lord, that second option was horrifying. But it looks like to me he has purple violet hair. Nice. So I guess Ronald McDonald was over the whole like red afro. Seems fitting, new branding. McDonald is changing up their branding, no longer red and yellow. It's just now purple. Now for his hat. I really want the weenie hat so badly. One, cowboy, two, hmm, three. That's a two and a half, three. He's a cowboy. But let's go and do his piercings. One, two, three. Jeez Louise. One's inside of his nose. That sounds uncomfortable. His eyes. One, two, three. Oh, a fancy cowboy we see. So we're going to do tops and bottoms. But now for his formal wear, I'll do a full body outfit with this one. One, two, three. Not bad. What a dapper young man that he is here today. His shoes are the real question. One, two, three. Oh, Donald, I had so much hope for you. You really let me down. Still not my favorite choice, but he can wear what he wears. His athletic wear though. Let's see what we have here. One, two, three. Pride. We love to see it. Now for his bottom wear. One, two, three. You know, that's the appropriate athletic wear you should be wearing. Not long pants and a long sleeve shirt because you will burn up and pass out. But for his shoes though, really do matter. Will he wear flip flops though? That's the real question. One, two, three. He wears tennis shoes as a proper person should when running the mile. I have an idea for this one, but let's try. One, two, three. He's an alien. We all knew it. It was happening. Alien life form. Ronald McDonald is an alien. McDonald, don't sue me, please. Anyway, let's go and do his party wear and see what we have going on here. One, two, three. You know, this is a turn out really, really well. But for his shoes, one, two, three. His shoes matches his outfit. Oh, it's gonna go great. His swimwear though. One, two, three. An alien confirmed. His hot weather wear. Let's do something different and do tops and bottoms. One, two, three. Nice shirt. Pants. One, two, three. To each their own. And this is actually from the brand new kit that we got as well. These are some nice pants, but I don't know if I would wear that outside. I would burn up if I did. But shoes already come with this outfit attached to it. So he wears no shoes, clearly, because he's an alien. Aliens don't wear shoes. Let's go move on to his cold weather wear. One. Two. Oh. Three. Ah. Why is he wearing this outfit? I wanted him to wear the Yami Chin outfit. It's better, <laughs> cleaner. But for his aspiration, let's see what we have here. Location? Okay. When I get. Mount Komorabi Sightseer. So I'm thinking that he's trying to sightsee a new location for to expand the franchise, the McDonald franchise in a new location. So he might put McDonald's on the mountaintop of Mount Komorabi. We'll have to see. Coming soon to a town near you. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's see what we have for his likes and dislikes. He hates the color gray. Oh, but he loves pop music as do I as well but he also loves media production very good but he also loves contemporary decor so now it is time for the moment of truth to play with genetics my friends so we're gonna put Sally and Ronald McDonald together to see what they have here for the product of their child to be but let's go and play with genetics and we're gonna randomize their daughter three times one oh two three mm -hmm. Okay, the child to be doesn't look that bad. She looks pretty stylish and very fancy. 
But what does she look like as a teenager? I'm gonna turn her around because I'm so scared. Okay, let's get a drum roll, my friends. Okay, in three, two, one. <gasps> she looks so cute. Oh, I like how she looks. She looks so pretty. Genevieve Sun. Genevieve Sun. Jen for short, but with a G, not a J, a G. I love that. Let's randomize her traits. One, two, three. So she's materialistic and a geek. So she loves money, but she also loves science and technology. Very good. For aspiration though. Oh, knowledge. Okay, knowledge. Mm. What do we get? We got Renaissance Sim. This Sim wants to be good at many things at once. So geek and materialistic, they can do be good at money, science and technology. They got the best of both worlds. We love to see it. So let's give her the ones that I always tend to use on all of my Sims. I'm gonna do her everyday outfit and then call it a day. So for an everyday outfit, I kind of want to give her something along the lines of the brand new kits that we got as well. Because I think I do like this outfit the most. I do like this one a lot because she's like a, a nerd, like a geek, but she also is very materialistic. So I think she could rock this outfit right here, honestly. She looks pretty nice. But I'm going to give her some like nice little shoes and I'll give her these right here. See, look, she looks so pretty. <gasps> Oh, even up close, she's just like, hi, I'm here. I want to give her like those earrings. Yeah, I like this the, the most. It looks really, really cute. <gasps> I forgot I can give Sims nail polish. That's right. Okay, let's give her the ones from base game. I'll give her like, the ones in a white color so it matches her skirt and her shoes. But she looks very cute overall. I love Genevieve. Genevieve looks so adorable. Her parents, however, are quite... Um, an interesting product of The Sims. Don't know if I would love to see them in my game, but they did make a beautiful child. So that's kind of something right there for me, for you, and for all. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's video as much as I did. Please let me know down in the comments below as always on what you thought of this random genetics challenge. But as always, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.